Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into Full Power. I am so blessed and so thankful to be joined in the studio today with my wife and our two-year-old little girl. So things might be wild and out of control as uh, we record today, but uh, hey, hashtag family life. Stay tuned. All right. All right. Welcome to Full Power. So I am super excited to have um, the two uh, ladies in my life in the studio today. I've got Fernanda sitting across from me and we don't have a camera on her, but she's probably going to be running around and making noise. And our daughter's over uh, over on the uh, uh, the futon. She's watching something on a, an iPhone. Hashtag don't judge our parenting. Mm-hmm. And uh, so anyway, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, so how does it feel to be the first and, and only so far woman on the Full Power uh, Manhood Unleashed show? <laughs> well, I feel very special mm-hmm. to be the very r- first one. Very first. It's you. It's you. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to do uh, what I typically do for shows. Uh, I do a, a community update. So I'm just going to let everybody know kind of uh, what we're, what we've got going on. And, uh, so guys, uh, I want you to, as I've been saying the last several episodes, uh, please, please, please stay tuned with us. Um, probably about quarter one of 2022, we're going to be, uh, getting to the place where we've got some more community aspects in place so that you guys can actually interact with each other and, um, really have that discipleship and that iron sharpening iron. Um, so that's that's kind of the goal and the focus for uh, 2022. And uh, that's kind of our update right now. And uh, so before we kind of start talking about uh, what we're thankful for, this is our thanks after Thanksgiving special where we're just kind of going to go into uh, some of the blessings that God has bestowed upon us throughout our life. And uh, before we get into that, uh, I'm going to open us up in prayer. Sure. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, family. Thank you so much for uh, this ministry. Thank you for the men listening. And uh, we just ask that uh, uh, through this time where we uh, uh, seek to bring you glory through uh, uh, illuminating and sharing uh, just what you've done in our lives, that uh, people be blessed and encouraged and uh, uplifted um, through these uh, uh, retellings of your your, uh, narrative in our lives and uh, just thank you for my wife and uh, for our little boy and our little girl. And uh, please continue to protect us and provide for us and uh, watch over us and uh, lead us ever closer to you. In Christ's name, amen. amen. All right. So uh, this is our, this isn't before Thanksgiving. This show is actually going to show up after Thanksgiving. And uh, the record date today is pre Thanksgiving. So it's a little confusing for us, but everybody else watching will have lived and enjoyed Thanksgiving. So very cool. Yeah, very (laughs) cool. Very cool. Um, So, uh, Fernanda, I'm just going to start out, you know, what what would you say is the biggest thing that you're thankful for right now today? Oh, just thankful for for health and just family. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so I I think uh, we've we've had a little bit of. not major health stuff, but a little bit of stuff kind of going on recently. Like Camilla had a snuffly nose and Bennett's had a little bit of upset tummy and, and daddy's been having daddy's stuff with his (laughs) upset tummy and, uh, um, sleeping, not sleeping good and stuff like that. But by and large, I, I agree. I think health is a big one because we've, you know, um, very thankful that we have, uh, you know, avoided the coronavirus thus far and uh, um, haven't really had the flu this year or anything like that. So that's good. And uh, I think uh, other than getting fatter, I'm, I'm pretty healthy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's just a lot of things to be thankful for, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I was recently sick too, had a tummy <laughs> yeah. illness, but, you know, we are we are back into normal routine and and I don't know I think uh um one thing really you know uh to be thankful for too is you know just having you know God in our lives and just the what he means you know and and 
in my life and the life of our kids and our family and mm-hmm. and just you know just having Jesus uh, always with us. Yeah, and, and I mean, I I completely agree with that too because you know the Bible says apart from Him we can do nothing, and if you think about. Um, if the guys listening have had any exposure to parenting, you know, either parenting themselves or if they think back and remember how they were parented, you know, it's, it's so challenging. You know, you've got, um, emotional leadership, you've got spiritual leadership, you've Mm -hmm. got, um, physical leadership of the family with protection Mm -hmm. and provision Mm -hmm. and kind of as a guy, um, you've got all these different things that you're trying to juggle and trying to bring together so that, you know, holistically your family's healthy and moving mm-hmm. forward. And, you know, mm-hmm. to underscore what you were saying, there's no way that anybody can accomplish that mm-hmm. without having Christ on board and, you know, God just paving the way because, um, you know, we say it all the time on the show, when you're not in the rhythms that God has put into your life, then, you know, it's just going to be under your own power. It's going to be stressful. It's not going to be productive. It's not going to have any eternal kingdom impact unless he's involved in it. So, you know, I I agree with that for sure. And, um, you know, I think, um, something else that, uh, that I'm thankful for is, you know, the fact that, um, you know, God's kind of brought us to the place where, um, he's allowed us to, start and kind of be nurturing this uh, men's ministry. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, if I was thinking back even maybe a year ago um, or maybe even less than that, this wasn't even really on our radar. It Mm -hmm. wasn't on our horizon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so very thankful that, you know, uh, he made a way um, he's provided um, you know, for the finances thus mm-hmm. far, and I trust that he will continue to do so. He's provided, um, the, uh, skills that we need mm-hmm. along the way, either, um, through, uh, training that he has brought into my world mm-hmm. or by, um, j- other, other guys, you know, like Larry and stuff that he's mm-hmm. brought in and, you know, brought to, uh, brought to the ministry and just so thankful for being able to have this platform to connect with guys Mm -hmm. and share the, the truth that God is just desperately wanting to share with guys Mm -hmm. because, um, you know, I think, I think the big challenge out there is guys being willing to step up and lead and being self-disciplined enough not to, um, let other, um, not good things in their life be medication, so to speak, um, for taking the place of responsibility, self-discipline, doing what they need to do. So very thankful for this ministry, Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously thankful for the family, you and the kids. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, let me ask you this. Um, Mm -hmm. so if you think back, um, to, I guess, pre Andrew before me, what, what was uh, something that you were super thankful for, you know, before I even knew you? What was something that God's kind of done in your world before we even met each other that you were thankful for? Well, back then, um, I want to say that I was just thankful to have um, family that was su- that were supporting me back then and being still kind of new in the area and in the country. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> Fernanda's from Ecuador. So yes. when she says she's new to the country, she actually <laughs> came a whole continent away to yeah. uh, to hang out with us here in the United States of America. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing, just hanging out. <laughs> that's right, making yeah. a way. Yeah. Just, so I interrupted. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Um, just the culture and and just having their um, their support mm-hmm. really, because not, not having my whole family back here, you know, in the 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 few members of uh, relative that I have, you know, it was just very nice to have their um, their help and uh, just having really a a place where I could stay and in mm-hmm. a job, you yeah. know, where where I could uh, provide for my needs. Um, mm-hmm. So that's that's I think um, and really uh, the 
just the opportunity of still having um, connections with my family in Ecuador, like my dad, and mm-hmm. um, just have, being able to talk to them and, you know, use the technology. Yeah, yeah. And and um, your dad has passed, yes. and uh, um, I never had the... Uh, the fortune to, uh, or the opportunity to get to meet him in person. Mm -hmm. However, cool little side story was, um, when I was actually able to, what did we get? Like a prepaid international phone card, right? Prepaid phone card, right? Telephone card, yes. Telephone card, which I didn't even know how those things worked. And I still probably couldn't redo what we did today, but somehow we got that to work. We called your dad. We were dating at the time and, uh, I was able to actually ask him, for your hand in marriage, you had to translate because I didn't speak Spanish. He didn't speak right. English. Mm-hmm. And uh, through your translation and through an international phone call, um, I was able to ask for your hand in marriage. So super, right. super cool memory. Yes. Yeah. So. That was that was a very sweet moment Yeah, that we had with him and he was very happy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so, you know, thinking about your dad, um, what, what was something that uh, you were super thankful for about your dad? Um, really, um, he, uh, well, my parents were, you know, separated. Um, uh, they, they did that, uh, when I was very young and, uh, so I didn't really, you know, I saw him like, you know, weekly or, you know, just whenever we were able to, to see each other with my sisters and I, um, but, uh, really the, the thing that I was very thankful is when, when he um, when he gave his life to Jesus, because uh, before that he was a, a different man. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a, a lot of things that he needed to work on, and and after uh, knowing Jesus, you know, it just he just changed completely. Mm-hmm. You know, his heart. You know, he was uh, sweeter and wanting to spend more time with with us when we were visiting. We didn't we did not really visit Ecuador too much, but when when I did, you know, he, we have been a really good time together and, and I'm thankful for that too. Just that trip that I made and uh, I spent a lot of time with him and, and, um, just, it was just me and him. So. Yeah, I think, I think that was really great. What was, that was pretty close. was a year or two years before he passed when you were able to go down there. It was pretty um, close, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was looking at pictures actually uh, a little while ago, and I think it was 2014. Yeah. So it was. And uh, then he, what year did he pass? Uh, he passed uh, 2017, uh, the year okay, that so like Bennett was born. Two and a half, three years, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that I, I, I think, you know, um, that was, that was, I think that was a huge blessing to be able to connect with him, you know, still when he had the majority of his health, because you know, kind of his health declined and everything. And you were able yeah. to go down there with your sisters and everything. So yeah. I, th- I think, uh, I can speak on your behalf that that was yeah. that's something you're <laughs> thankful for. So, um, you know, uh, for me, I think that, uh, um, you know, pre Fernanda, mm-hmm. um, what I was thankful for is that, um, you know, really, I, I'm, I'm an anomaly, unfortunately, in today's society. I had uh, a dad and a mom that stayed together, mm-hmm. and uh, they were both Christians, and, um, you know, they always tried to do the right thing as far as parenting, as far as, you know, being an upstanding individual and citizen in society, and uh, so, uh, you know, if we look across, you know, the world today, uh, I, I don't know the exact statistics, but the last time I kind of heard them, it was about 50% of relationships or marriages rather end in divorce. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just very thankful that I'm uh, the the exception to the rule that I was part of a family that stayed together, mm-hmm. that had uh, Jesus at the center. And, mm-hmm. you know, we're like any family, you know, don't, don't think that we're perfect or that mm-hmm. we do everything or have all our mm-hmm ducks in a row because we didn't and we Mm -hmm. don't Mm -hmm. however um everything that we did you know we turned it over to jesus to sanctify and redeem and because of that you know he's he's always kind of uh taken that and run with that so i was very thankful for that and uh 
you know, if we, if we kind of think, Oh, here she comes. I knew she'd be coming Mm -hmm. here. Come here, get in the, get in the picture a little bit. Mm -hmm. You want to sit with daddy? All right. Here comes Camilla Mm -hmm. here, baby here. You want to say something to the full power team, the family, say something in the microphone, say hi. Oh, she's not going to do it, but she's going to sit with daddy for a minute. But uh, thinking about the kids, you know, what would you say? Um, what would you say something that you're thankful? I know we talked about health and everything, mm-hmm. but what's something like, is there a memory or something that we've had with the kids that uh, you're, uh, you're just super, you know, stands out and you're thankful for that time or anything like that? Right. Um, I can't really think of something specific because... Um, <laughs> it's I have a really bad memory like everything yeah. just I mean the they just grow up so fast and and it's really hard to remember little things but I don't know just um just really being present uh with them really because as a stay-at-home mom you know I'm I'm there with every little thing that, that they do but just just being able to just watching them grow and um, and, uh, with them, just, just them playing, you know, just because mm-hmm. the stages that they have uh, and the seasons that they have, uh, just everything changes, but just, just when they change from like, you know, like changing beds, you know, from cribs to a big beds, yep. um, and then Bennett starting school, you know, him being really happy. Yeah. And I, I think. You know, if I were going to answer that question, that's kind of um, my my main thankfulness. You know, obviously health and everything. I just, I really, I really appreciate and am thankful that God is drawing them to Him very early on. Uh, you know, both kids love to go to church, uh, and you know, I told you this, and and it's a cool little story. I want, I'm proud of them, and it was awesome. So I want to share it with, uh, with the guys, but you know, the other day when you weren't feeling good, you Mm -hmm. stayed home from church and I took the kids in the van and as Mm -hmm. we were pulling in and I was getting ready to get out and get the kids out and, uh, you know, not, not prompted, you know, just completely spontaneous. Uh, Bennett, Bennett says, Jesus, please help mommy to feel better. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like out of nowhere, he, he, he connected that you weren't feeling good. He connected that Jesus is the healer and the provider of the power to heal. And, and he knew that he needed to pray. So, Mm -hmm. so thankful that God's wooing and drawing them early on. And, you know, just to hear the kids pray at the dinner table. And when, when little, little Camilla says, Jesus, I love you. Amen. I mean, (laughs) what, what a sweet little prayer. So, Just so, so thankful for that. And, uh, you know, I don't tell you enough. I'm super thankful for you. You know, Mm -hmm. um, I talk to a lot of, you know, the guys that I know, friends of mine, people I run rub shoulders with here in ministry and everything. And, you know, everybody is just like me. They're in awe of, you know, you and other wives that are able to be stay at home moms because, Mm -hmm. you know, not to undermine or, or, um, you know, kind of discredit, you know, women that have careers, if you will. However, I believe that being a full-time mom is actually harder, more strenuous, and ultimately more rewarding uh, for you and for your family. Um, However, it's a 24-7 job. You know, Mm -hmm. if the kids wake up at night, guess what? They probably want yeah. mommy yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Daddy's probably sleeping because he's a lazy good for nothing sometimes. But, uh, you know, so you're, you're on the clock all the time. You don't, you know, you don't get time off. You don't get vacation days <laughs> and, you know, um, uh, you know, you're, I, I don't pay you very good. So, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's part of it too. So you, mm-hmm. you need to, you need to, talk to me offline about that. I think you need a pay raise. (laughs) um, So, you know, very thankful for you. And, you know, I know that uh, God's using you in our family because, um, you know, the kids wouldn't be having those pivotal moments like with prayer and connecting with God and just always wanting to go to um, go to church. And, you know, the preschool that Bennett's in is Christian based and he loves to do that. Oh, she's coming back. Hey, Camilla. 
What you doing? <laughs> oh, yep. She's handing you a rustly bag. <laughs> oh, I see that. Thank you. Empty. Empty rustly bag. No Teddy Grahams. No Teddy Grahams. Those <laughs> are gone. You didn't bring daddy and he didn't share them with the class. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, yeah, so very thankful that uh, you're being there to be instrumental to, you know, have the kids be able to have these connections with God at an early age. And, uh, um, you know, I think I think that's beneficial now and it's going to be hugely beneficial down the road because the right. Bible says that, you know, train up your kids in the way they should go. And, at, you know, later on in life, they won't depart from it. So mm-hmm. we trust that promise and we believe that God will take our kids and uh, use him for his kingdom and his glory and, uh, and do all that. So I'm very thankful about that. So um, let's talk yeah. about Thanksgiving since we haven't, we haven't been there yet. We're looking right. forward to it. Oh yes. Um, uh, what are, what are the plans this year? I think with COVID and everything <laughs> we, yeah, we've got, what, what do we have planned? What do we have lined up? Are the family's going to come or maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a, it's a maybe with, um, with the grandparents, with Andrew's parents, uh, we, we're probably going to get together with them in our house. And, uh, we have an invitation to, to come to my, uh, one of my sister's house. Oh, I didn't even know that. That day. Oh but my goodness. it all, that really depends on, you know, it's like a plan B. If, uh, right. if for some reason, you know, we always get together with Andrew's parents, with your parents. Yeah. But if for some reason, you know, uh, that doesn't work, we yeah. have an invitation to go there. Well, there you go. You know. So, That's all. <laughs> yeah, Just, uh, you know, I, I, and I, I always share this with you that, uh, um, <laughs> I guess if we have to, and maybe this is, maybe this is good common sense wisdom to other families too, that, uh, you know, just don't try to book too much into one day, mm-hmm. you know, make sure that you have margin and that you're uh, able to enjoy the time with your family. So I want to make sure that we don't try to do two Thanksgivings in one day. So right. we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll reschedule if we need to accordingly oh, yeah. and spread it out. Yeah, and I think can always do. we're still, we were talking about me doing a, uh, um, what, what, like one of those turkeys in the air fryer that we got, right? Right. So yeah. I think, I think I'm going to try that this year. I'm kind of excited. I, I'm a little excited. <laughs> this week's going to be busy. So, um, I was thinking about that as we were driving in. I don't know if I'm going to get to it before Thanksgiving. Um, mm-hmm. but I definitely do want to get to it. Cause I think, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, something that, uh, um, you know, uh, I talked about with, uh, mom, you know, with, at some point, dad's not going to want to do, um, you know, the big fixings for Thanksgiving and, mm-hmm. you know, the tradition's going to pass to me and I'm going to have to be the the manly man in the kitchen and repair the, well, you know, that stuff. I mean, you can do the, like the turkey and I can do, you know, the rest. Oh, so you can do all stuff. of it. Is that what you said? <laughs> you can do it like from yeah. beginning to end. We can be a team as the kids grow. You know, everybody can help, like chopping, oh. you know, something or. I think somebody's something. gonna somebody's <laughs> gonna lose a finger. It's gonna be. Ta-da. I just I can just see it now <laughs> with mixing, our kids or mixing. You know. There you go. But we can we can work something out. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. So, anyway, we'll we'll figure that out. I'm sure. But uh, yeah. So, that's you know that's kind of what. Uh, what I'm thankful for. So, you know, kind of as we're drawn to close with the show, is there anything that God's kind of got on your heart right now that you, you know, feel led to share with the men listening today? Um, you know, just uh, make sure whatever you do, you know, even if you stay home, it's, it's everything. Okay. You know, it, you can just spend time with, with your friends or just yourself, you know, just um, make sure you um, relax and, you know, get some energy mm-hmm. uh, to go back into the 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 week, but just take it easy and and just enjoy uh, just having God, you know, in, in your life and and uh, and with the family that you have and friends. You know, make sure you enjoy that moment because you never know, you know, how long they're gonna be in your life for. Yeah, yep, that's good. That's good. So. Um, if, uh, if anybody listening today, uh, wants to reach out and connect with you, um, how would they do that? Um, well, my only thing uh, out there is yeah. <laughs> just, uh, uh, the Instagram, uh, I believe is at Mrs. Merck 29. Okay. There you go. 
And uh, as always, uh, you guys can connect with us here at Full Power at wearefullpower.com. And you can also connect with us um, via our, our uh, social media at We Are Full Power. Um, so check us out there. And uh, I'm going to uh, close this in a word of prayer. All right. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, this awesome time with uh, Mrs. Merck 29, my, my beautiful and awesome wife. And uh, thank you that uh, Camilla was uh, pretty well behaved. So uh, we didn't have too much craziness on the on the show today. Um, so we're thankful for that. And we're thankful for health and we're thankful for, um, blessings of having a roof over our head and having food on our table. And we're thankful for this ministry. Um, and, uh, Lord, we just are so thankful for the men listening, just, uh, lift them up, lift up their families and just ask that, uh, during this holiday season that, uh, um, they are not, they're not busy, Lord. I just ask that uh, you give them all a restful pace um, starting now all the way through the new year. And uh, if someone asks them, how you doing? That uh, their first reaction is not, I'm busy. It's, oh man, things are good. I want things to be good for, for all the men that are listening, Lord, and watching. And uh, we just uh, thank you for being with us when things are good and for watching over us and being with us when things aren't good. We just trust you and praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, uh, I don't really have anything else to share other than uh, make sure you guys uh, um, subscribe, follow, um, depending on what platform you're on, ring the bell if you're on YouTube, and uh, just kind of check those out so that you don't miss any of our content that we release. And uh, stay tuned for the uh, community updates that we're going to be having. And uh, you're loved. You're sent. Get out of here, and we'll catch you on the next go-round. Bye-bye.